Oh, it's just an ordinary day. What could possibly happen? Ah! Yes, Jake. I am Josh Vickers, the creator of your universe, and I've come down here to rule. Please, follow me. Hey, hey, wait a minute. I know you created the universe and all, but you can't just come down here and expect to rule. What the crew? <laughs> You say I can't rule this place that I created myself! Did I say that? Because that's totally not what I meant. Good. Then let us continue along the path of righteousness. Now all I need is somewhere to rule. Here we go. Here I will sit, as Emperor of the What If Universe. My will will be law. So, you're gonna sit there all day and rule? Do you again question my authority? N no 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 that's not what I meant! But you do! And I assure you, young Jake, the consequences will be dire. What, the crew? What, what is this? What are you gonna do to me? You are going to be punished for eternity. You're gonna send me to hell? I did not create a hell in the What If universe, which is why you come back to life at the beginning of every episode. Instead, you are going to receive a punishment much worse. You don't mean. You are to be poked in the face for all eternity. Sorry, Jake! You don't know the power of the dark side! I must obey my master! No! And so Jake's senselessly culture for eons to come. He would eventually have a hole loaded into his skull from the repeated poking. This was located under him between the eyes, contributing to what later societies would call a mouth. He would find that he could make sound with his mouth, and seemed remarkable at speaking. His children would also be born with these bizarre holy faces, and so his lineage would be ostracized until the end of time. Only when the other cultures were destroyed would the mouth ones rise up upon the plane to become the rulers of the water universe, thereby fooling the diabolical plan of Josh Vickers. Again, you question my authority? Ah!